good morning dear brothers and sisters it's such a joy to come to the presence of god and learn and meditate his word and enjoy the freedom that comes from god dear brothers and sisters this morning we are going to look into another area which we need to overcome in our lives if we are addicted or bound you know we have started this week with the specific areas that needs victory in our lives in the previous episodes we saw overcoming anger overcoming lying lips and today we are going to look into a more dangerous addiction these days affecting the whole human race as the media internet social media has developed across the globe this challenge has become most dangerous and shattering many lives and many families that is the addiction to pornography this is a world wide dangerous addiction that is bothering me. and some of the countries have banned these sites such devastating impact it has made over the mankind but let me tell you there is a good news that you can overcome this addiction or a habit or a temptation this begins as a temptation later it becomes a habit and finally it becomes an addiction where you will find it difficult to overcome let me brief you what exactly this does in a person's life before that let me read a portion of scripture from first john's epistle chapter 2 verses 15 16 and 17 there the scripture reads like this let not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world and the world passeth away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of god abideth forever verse 16 says for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eye and the pride of life this pornography is the lust of the eye and later it leads to lust of the flesh let me tell you what are the effects of this basically then we will go for deliverance once when we are tempted or habituated or become addicted to this sin or addiction we feel guilty and we feel it is better to be quiet not to talk about it you may be fighting this kind of challenges but the spirit of the lord is helping you today this particular sin or addiction makes you to live two lives in yourself shame starts to grow inside and in 1 corinthians the scripture says that all other sins are outside the body but this sin is inside the body this destroys the temple of the living god and it is a bondage core 
the core of this sin is sexual bondage and it leads to the intimacy wounds you know there will be wounds in the relationships or in your own self so what is what, what are the solutions here what 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 it really impacts first of all you may have to confront denial when you want to be delivered from this particular addiction you know this is very powerful addiction that destroys not just you know your moral life you may be thinking it is only affecting your moral life or people may look at you with a moral standards but let me tell you this is not only affecting your norm uh, uh, moral life but also it attacks your brain system the problem of this will impact on your brain and uh, you know this makes you or the choice of indulging in this kind of sin it produces a powerful chemical in your brain which is called dopamine or what does this make is got to have it you will not be in the condition to control yourself somehow you want to go go back to it go to go back to it no matter how much you watch this you will feel like again like again and again to go to this so it affects your brain system and finally you will come to a point where whoever it may be male or female finally you come to a point where you will lose respect to the opposite sex people not even your own relatives your mother your sister or family members your father or your brother some of you start hating them because of this moral and psychological bombarding that happens through this addiction on your mind and on your heart and your moral standards and these implications lead you to be isolated you become aloof you never try to you know decide to mingle, mingle with people the more you isolate the more stronger this becomes and it keeps you in that bondage so the only way you can come out is you need the healing of your mind or your psychological area and overcome your addiction in the moral area so dear people of god as the time is going out i will conclude here with this point and tomorrow i will tell you the ways how you can overcome this particular addiction or temptation god bless you we'll meet tomorrow